This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joely Regi. A vicious fight has rocked the National Assembly following a plot by some members of the House leadership to oust Speaker Justin Mutui. The end game is to push Moturi to join Deputy President William Ruto's UDA party or campaign. The star has established the removal plot as linked to the jostling in Mount Kenya for the running mate job in the President Uhuru Kenyatta succession race. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. ODM leader Raila Odinga returned to the country on Thursday to a busy campaign schedule that will see the opposition chief making a tour to the vote-rich Mount Kenya region. The former Prime Minister was out of the country for a week to the United Arab Emirates where he was attending the Africa Infrastructure Conference. He was accompanied by Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho and Suna East MP Junet Mohamed. Kenya Medical Training College officials at the Kuria campus collected 7.1 million shillings in cash from students as fees but never banked the money. The money was collected in form of cash directly from students but the same was not reflected in the students' accounts as of June 2019. Auditor General Nancy Gadungu has cast doubt whether the college would recover the money which formed a huge part of the 10.4 million shilling outstanding fees balance at the campus. Kenya has made a commitment to address climate change in the tourism sector as it pushes for the achievement of a sustainable climate-friendly industry by the year 2030. It is in light of the commitment made by President Uhuru Kenyatta at the Conference of Parties that Kenya joins the world on achieving zero carbon emissions by 2030 and converting 100% of needs to renewable green energy. The Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife has made commitments in the conservation and tourism sector to support the pledge by the President on achieving sustainability in this sector. Deputy President William Ruto on Friday said he will read the agriculture sector of brokers whom he accused of depriving farmers of what they deserve to earn. He said the sector is a top earner and should benefit farmers. The Deputy President said at a rally in Bungoma that agriculture remains the backbone of the country's economy. Bungoma is one of the breadbasket counties. Ruto said the country witnessed massive reforms in the sector when he was agriculture minister under the Grand Coalition government. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.